My parents, they condemned her act and told me to forgive her. I sent her out of my house. She said she has denounced me as her sister and that I shouldn't come to any of her functions. That if I do, I would die. And she says now my parents are asking me to call her as the older one for peace to reign. I'm finding this difficult. I didn't offend her. She did. She hasn't really even apologized to me. What should I do? Uh, should I be the bigger one and still relate with her like my younger sister and let her be? Or what should I do? It's the Family Clinic with the Techers. Now, let's get into the clinic. So if you heard that story, and uh, if you followed also last week, I'm sure that it's, it's, it's just too much to take in. It's just really, really too much to take in. I, I, I'm, when I heard this story, I felt so bad for her because even her family who you would expect to understand her pain and address the issue maturely, or I really am, I'm really a little confused or would I say displeased as to how her family handled the situation? But here's what she said. If you didn't catch the story earlier, I'm going to read it again. And then let's help her out with her situation. Let's help her out on how to go about this. Because right now she's thinking, should I call my sister and still relate with her um, and let bygones be bygones? I mean, look at it. We were also even talking about forgiveness and when someone says you're sorry earlier. So let's even liken the situation to this story right now. So I'm going to take her story again. She says, I have confronted my sister. Uh, she said she was only playing along with my husband. She said it was my husband who started wooing her. She also said she was waiting for me to catch them red-handed. That if she told me, I won't believe her. I still don't believe she was only playing along for four years without telling me anything. My husband buys things for her like phones, ETC, sends her money and all for four years. After everything, I sent her out of my house. We went to my parents' place and the issue was addressed. My parents, uh, they condemned her act and told me to forgive her. After I sent her out of my house, she said she has denounced me as her sister and that I shouldn't come to any of her functions, that if I do, I would die. Now my parents are asking me to call her as the older one for peace to reign. I'm finding this difficult. I didn't offend her. She did. She hasn't really even apologized to me. What should I do? Should I be the bigger one and still relate with her like my younger sister? Or let her be? So that's her story. Remember, she's listening. Her name, her dumber name is Mary. Remember, we don't give the real names of uh, the individuals who send us messages. Her dumber name is Mary. Now, what do you think about this whole situation? Uh, now, her, her, her sister told her that she's been waiting for her to catch them red-handed um, before she gets to tell the sister that if she had told her sister... Um, she wouldn't have believed her and so that went on for four years you were um having what they call the sex chatting with your sister's husband he bought you underwears sent you money and all of that she had that going on for four years and told your sister that you were playing along you know i mean that's what she said that um, she was only playing along with her husband and her husband is the one to blame has been wooing this girl for over four years and the sister's um, excuse was that was that she couldn't have told her that she wouldn't believe her if she had told her um, now this mary is saying i don't believe you but it's fine it's okay let's go to her parents place which they went uh, reported the whole issue and part of the things she told me, because I had a conversation personally with her, and one of the things she told me was that um, when she told the parents, uh, the parents asked her to forgive, and they had to call the parents of her 
husband to warn their son. And that was how the whole thing was settled. Uh, told the, the woman who is involved, that is Mary who is involved, to um, accept the apology from the younger sister and uh, the likes. Um, I don't know what you think, but right now she's saying uh, the sister, uh, the, the, her parents are asking her to be the bigger one, call her sister, and still relate with her as though nothing happened. What do you think? And now she's asking, should I just go ahead, call my sister, plead with her? But she's saying, I did not offend you. You are the one who offended me. Why am I put in this position where that I have to call you and still relate with you like nothing happened? Why are you the one getting upset and saying you denounce me as your sister because I sent you out of my house that I caught you uh, having an affair with my husband? It's such a dicey situation right here. But if you want to be a part of the show, remember she's listening. So no judgment zone. Uh, the numbers to call is 0700-993-993-993. The female-only line is 01465-7190. Hello? Yeah, good morning. Good morning to you. What's your name, please? Yeah, my name is Muna. Hi, Muna. Calling from, yeah, I'm calling from Lagos. Good to have um, you. So, um, the thing there is just that... Um, I heard um, the topic of this question, and um, the truth of the matter is that some people are just bad to the soul, mm. and they're just bad in nature. And um, it's good at times to apply wisdom in um, areas like this. Mm-hmm. So, um, like as you said earlier, I think um, the ladies' parents didn't handle the issue with um, as much... Um, um, understanding or wisdom in the matter mm-hmm. and so and in this case i don't see i don't see any need for the lady to actually go ahead and call her sister because the girl in question from the actions that um are being put out that i think put out she is not really remorseful of what she's done mm-hmm. he's um she feels entitled to as in, if she had even left her in that house, like, she would have done more mm. from the action that I am seeing. So, I don't really, I don't really think it's a good idea for her to call her because she has to give her time mm-hmm. to, not her sister, she has to give her sister time mm-hmm. to actually see if there will be any sense of remorse from her side. Because even telling her elder sister after what she's done that, um... She, uh, if she should come to any of our functions, that she yeah. would die or something like that. Yeah. That's a threat. Mm. On top of, just like um, insult on top of injury. It's kind of like, yeah. it's, there's a lot going on in her mind, like wanting to damage her sister's life some more. Mm. So, mm. I don't think um, <laughs> in applying wisdom, she needs to give her sister a call. There's no, there's no need whatsoever for that. Okay, then. But right That's now, she's under pressure from her family to reach out to her sister. Um, this this is her life. That's that's one other problem we have as um, individuals. We need to actually be able to decipher when to think about ourselves mm-hmm. and our well-being. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's her marriage. That's her life. Mm-hmm. Instead, she was the one who said yes to that um, marriage. She was yeah. the one who said yes to that um, union. So yeah. she has to understand when to. Um, she has to cipher, you mm-hmm. understand, to understand the information or the kind of advice she would take from her parents or from anybody else. So that's why she's got brains. Right. And so. Okay, then. Just, Thank you very yeah. much. I do appreciate yeah. you, Munachi. Do have yourself a good day. Abiodun has been on the line. Hi, Abiodun. Welcome. Hi, Andrea. Hi. Talk to me. Yeah. This story that we just shared mm-hmm. is, um, is pathetic. Mm. Um, what I would advise the woman to do mm-hmm. is actually to forget about this sister of hers. One of the major requirements for forgiveness is acknowledgement of your wrong. That is the first thing. If you look at the tone of what the woman had narrated, yeah. this, her sister, kept denying and um, forming all sorts of stories. Mm. So you realize that she had not repented. Mm. 
and um, she has not seen any wrong that she has done against her sister. She does not deserve such... Um, as much as I believe that the sister should forgive her because of her own sanity, but I don't believe she should be calling her to beg her mm. and all that. Okay. She's in the wrong here. Yeah. And another thing is that, are you sure that even the husband and this sister that have left her house, mm. they are still not getting in touch? Mm. Are you getting me? Yes, I'm with you. So, so that is one. Then the parents have a serious role to play here. Thank God they both have parents. Mm-hmm. I am disappointed that the woman, I mean, she's been told to to apologize to the sister so that the sister can forgive her. I don't know the reason for that. <laughs> but I mean, I, I'm but, baffled. <laughs> yes, I'm baffled. Somebody who is in the wrong. Mm. Ha. So I think the parents should call this young lady mm-hmm. and speak sense into her ears. Okay. Okay. It's very, very key. Okay. Then the young woman should wash her back too. Okay. Then. If a man that you call your husband could do this with your younger sister, sister. Mm. then she should continue to wash her back. All right. And thank you so much, Abiodo. Thank you so much. See, the thing is, even while I was having that you know, talk with this woman. She didn't even talk to us her husband. Uh, she wants to keep her home. She wants to still be married to this man. Uh, the the issue here is with the sister, all right? So even when I tried to bring up the conversation of, oh, you, this same man was the one who was wooing your um, sister. Isn't he the threat here? Uh, but anyways, uh, Doja is on the line. Let me see. Can I have? Can I squeeze time for Doja? I don't want to cut you off. I don't want to. So I'm not sure that I can pick your call. We need to go on a break. Um, I apologize, Doja. We need to go on a break quickly. We'll be right back. Stick around, Lagos. This is an infomercial. An infomercial. Every one of the 64 games from the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022 live in HD on Supersport on DSTV. Here for every fan.
admission in 72 hours to study at the University of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada at the upcoming free seminar. Venue, the Protea Hotel, Kuramu Waters, Victoria Island, Lagos. Date, Friday the 6th of May. 2022 time 9 a.m to 4 p.m please come with your high school results to the seminar for admission for more information please whatsapp plus one three zero six four five zero nine one three seven when you are on the run with blood on your hands. Find out on Blood Sisters, a thrilling tale of love, suspense, and the unbreakable bond of true friendship. Catch Blood Sisters, the series, on Netflix.com. the creamy coffee taste of cowbell coffee round the clock it's really delicious taste it and you'll love it cowbell coffee taste the creamy side of coffee now available in multi-pack pouches at 750 naira only this is digital life this of the bureau is to implement the nigeria data protection regulation how do you ensure that third party places that are not the individuals who registered cannot assess that information somebody going out to take a loan uh, from a company and then you don't read the, the details inventors and inventions john emmanuel says you designed the phone you're using at the moment is that true yes that's true i designed the phone called me 40 pro fire and top gigabyte internet memory mm. and then top gig ram wow Tech heads and data. There are some applications when you are making use of them, they will tell you for permission access to your phone. Some of these applications actually record your voice conversations. It's also part of their terms and conditions. Join us on Digital Life every Sunday from 11 a.m. to 12 noon, only on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Your number one station for talk. Let's talk. You're listening to the Family Talk with the Techers. The Techers. Where family is everything. Yes, indeed, we are family. Part of the reasons we get to come together as a family every weekday here are... On Nigeria Info 99.3 with the tickets, you know, come together in family clinic to help an individual, one of those family members who n- desperately needs our help. And Mary is in that clinic today, and she does desperately need our help. If you didn't listen earlier or you didn't catch up her story, uh, I, I would, mm, okay, I would take the story one more time and then have you tell us what you think she should do regarding the situation she has found herself in so her message read i have confronted my sister she said we uh, she was only playing along with my husband she said it was my husband who started wooing her first um she also said she was waiting for me to catch them red-handed that if she told me i won't believe her i still don't believe she was only playing along for four years without telling me anything Uh, my husband buys things for her like phones, ETC, sends her money and all that for four years. After everything, I sent her out of my house. We went to my parents' place and the issue was addressed. Um, they condemned her act and told me to forgive her. After I sent her out of my house, she said she has denounced me as her sister and that I shouldn't come to any of her functions, that if I do, I will die. But now my parents are asking me to call her as the older one for peace to reign. I'm finding this difficult. I didn't offend her. She did. Uh, She hasn't really even apologized to me. What should I do? Should I be the bigger one and still relate with her like my younger sister or let her be? Now, prior to this message, she sent to us earlier saying, help, my sister has been having an affair with my younger sister for four years. And part of the things we told her was that she should report the case, call a family meeting, first of all, send her out of your house and then call that meeting, which she has done. And this was the outcome. Okay, hello. Hello, good morning. 
Good morning. <laughs> Good morning to you. Are you okay? I am. I just have cold. That's oh, all. I'm so sorry about that. I hope you've taken something that, that would help you with the cold. Yeah, yeah, he's just fine. He's fine, thank you. He's doing well. Okay, my left for the family. All right, they would hear. Thank you. See, you. This case is very straightforward. Okay. Since you maintain that peace, if she doesn't have that peace, she should ask God or Jesus Christ to give her peace in this storm. Hmm. She doesn't have to call her sister. Okay. It is wrong for even the family. To tell her to be calling the junior sister. Then, for what this junior sister has said, mm -hmm. she should keep off this junior sister. And I'm wondering, like you said, what of the husband? Yeah. Did she confront the husband? Mm. Yes, yeah, she did, she actually. She did confront her husband. And the man, mm -hmm. he apologized. He said he's sorry. At first, he tried to, you know, deny the whole thing until she brought out evidence and he started to beg. I hope we end it, the husband and the junior sister. But the attitude of the junior sister has not shown any uh, remorsefulness, nothing. Mm. She's so arrogant about the whole thing. So the senior sister, mm. she just keep off. Let her be. Okay. Could you party? All right. The relationship is off. <laughs> yes, it's off. Mm. Who, who the hell is she? Yeah. Junior sister to senior. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this will be beating self. This will be beating and bitter. Hmm. Well, well. All right, then. Thank, Thank you, you so much. This is Grandma Nini. I'm a okay, or lying cow. All right. Thank you so yes. much for calling. I appreciate Welcome. you. All right, then. Have yourself a good day. Hello. Hello. Hi. Welcome. My name is Yeah. Go what is that? Mm -hmm. When you look at that family, the the man, the husband, he might be having money. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a wealthy man. That is how poor uh, wife or poor parents, uh, uh, people that are from poor parents, insist that they, uh, their daughter remain in that marriage because the man is uh, he has money and he's a rich man. So they wouldn't want to miss that way. Mm -hmm. And for the man to show that he has money, he was feeding the junior sister yeah. and then uh, disrespecting the wife as well, mm -hmm. which is enough to cut off the marriage. Mm -hmm. But because they want the money to be free for the husband, the wife remain, mm -hmm. the parents of the, uh, of the wife supported her remaining there. Mm -hmm. But, and even then, the uh, the junior sister, is because of the man have money, that's mm -hmm. why he, he also done to the tune of the Yes, uh, that's his husband, okay. which is quite wrong. Maybe they are meeting somewhere now. That's why they use that language, not not ever, because he may call them again. Okay. So he just use that language to frighten the sister, so that the sister will not care to look for her or meet them. But never see we catch up with them. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, the, uh, for the husband, uh, for the wife, mm -hmm. let she do all that she can. Okay. So sign for money from the husband and call the goat away. Because a problem goat never repent. Thank all, you. All right, then. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Sometimes it's just, just extreme, extreme rather. But thank you. It's always appreciated. Hello? Hello, good morning. Hi, good morning. Welcome. Am I on the detector? Yes, you are. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. So, What's my your name? name? Yeah, my name is Tokwe. I'm calling from the Dimu. Welcome, Tokwe. Yeah. First and foremost, mm -hmm. the the wife's parents are a problem. Mm -hmm. They should have stabbed their feet down on the junior sister for that wrong thing. Mm -hmm. Asking her to call the uh, as as younger sister. For that sister to call the younger is completely wrong. Mm -hmm. A parent should just take such a decision. Okay. Make a statement. Okay. How can you, how can you be going out with your with your senior sister's uh, husband? Mm -hmm. And you have the God to tell your sons not to do all, all those all those words. It's wrong. So the parents are the fault. They should let the they should let the daughter. You know that daughter know what is done done is wrong. Mm. Asking her to call her for what? 
that's an insult. She built on a, 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 a reputation. <laughs> so you're she saying she, she ignore that pressure she from her parents. Ignore and, mm. and, and go on with her life and mm. amend her way with her. Since your husband have, have, have been remorseful, you have mm. pleaded forgiveness. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. Life, you have, you have to forgive the man and okay. go on with your life. Okay, then. Get off your sister. Okay. If she's remorseful, if the sister is remorseful, she means such a word. That means mm. she's not remorseful. Mm-hmm. Someone that is not remorseful, remorseful, remorseful is stay away from that person. Okay. So just because you cannot you shouldn't be your friend at all. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Hello? 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 Hi, welcome. What's your name? Yeah, good afternoon. Good morning to you. Yeah, I'm Mrs. Anari. Welcome, Mrs. Anari. Yeah, thank you for the speech. Okay, good to have like you. Like the issue of grand, mm-hmm. I believe the lady says the girl because I know the wife, the, uh, the sister, mm-hmm. most are the collective from the man. Mm-hmm. And the Jewish uh, children. Mm-hmm. Oh. It has that thought to say the best to apologize. Hmm. It was really wrong of the parents. Okay. They've gotten so much from that sister of hers. Hmm. That's my, uh, my contribution. Okay, then. Thank you so much. So, going by this story, trust me, there's just too much of, of so much to uncover. So, at some point, when I was uh, listening to the whole story from, from, from this woman, and then I asked myself, I mean, could it be that really the, the girl in question couldn't have told uh, the, the sister that this is what your husband has been doing with me because she felt the, the, the woman, that is her elder sister, would, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't accept or agree or believe her. So she said, you know what, let me just go with the flow. Because I know some young girls with this mentality of let me chop that man's money. And Shabi is toasting me when he has a wife. Let me eat his money. Let me enjoy his money. You know, there's some young girls who think that way. So probably this young girl, or you know, the younger sister to this woman, have that thought as well. And just maybe the, the relationship between her and her other sister as an, aren't really uh, pleasant. But then I told myself, come on, even at that, does it make it right? Does it make it right at all? Like, does it even make it right? But right now, the data has been done. Uh, they've gone to have the family meeting and the, the family or her parents have said, you know what, we condemn the acts that this your younger sister has done. But hey, um, just let things go. Let bygones be bygones. Uh, you have to call your sister. She's still your younger sister. Be the bigger one. Call her and speak to her like, you know, nothing happened. And now she's at that crossroads saying, you know what? I don't know if I should call her. I don't think I have that. I don't think I'm in that right frame of mind to call my sister and talk to her, speak to her like everything is normal. The young girl, the sister, the younger sister in question isn't even showing me that she's remorseful. Even showing me that she's sorry for what she's done. So why do I even go that far? That's me giving away my power. Anyway. Hello? Hello? Hi, good morning. What's your name, please? My name is Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Go ahead. Talk to us. Um, for me, I believe the parents probably would have taken money from the younger sister. For them to tell the elder sister to apologize to her younger sister or to call her younger sister is mm. inappropriate. Because I, I don't understand. Yes, woman is going through such a thing and you expect her to call her younger sister. For me, I would advise her to leave the marriage now. For her to get her sanity because... The pain and the and the betrayal will mm. still be in her mind because she might do something drastic, okay. or either a younger sister might do something drastic to her. Mm. Perhaps just have the man also accept. So okay. I think she just she should ignore the pressure from her parents to call yeah. the sister and act like everything is okay. Yeah, and just stay for a while on her own for her mm. to regain back her sanity because right now she isn't herself at all. Okay, and the younger sister might go to an extreme. Mm. Just get the husband also herself. Mm. Perhaps get a husband for a good four years. Mm. Isn't a good sign at all. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate your call. Hello. <laughs> so, hello. Good morning. Good morning to you. Mm-hmm. Welcome. Good morning. My <laughs> name I'm Juliet from Maja. Hi, Julia. Oh. Talk to me. How are you doing this morning? I'm a well done. Thank you. And now, this kind of story, mm. first of all, okay. that lady mm. should even we book that statement by her younger sister that she will die. Mm. First of all, she will not die. Mm-hmm. Second, 
her parents, it's like she is too soft to her parents. That is why they are telling her to go and beg. She, she, she told her parents, this is your daughter. Tell her, I want her to stay away from my family. Let her maintain her ground. There's nothing like, let me call her and beg. Mm. She, she you not say a spoon to eat without her sister and her parents. Mm -hmm. Let her stay on her own. Mm -hmm. Begin herself. First of all, the parents she want that younger sister. If they call her and tell her, go and beg her. Tell your parents, see, this is your child. Plan her dream, but I want her to stay away from my family. Mm. She should maintain her ground. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. You sound really upset. I mean, anybody who hears this will be really, really upset. Like, come on, this is me. You says you disrespecting me, actually. You know, and then if I if I end up going to call her, like nothing has happened. I mean, doesn't just sit well. We need to go on a break. I think we need to, uh, or not yet, not yet. We still have a few few uh, minutes to go. We have Ike on the line. Hello, Ike. Welcome. Yeah, uh, good, morning, good, morning. good morning to you. Yeah. The mother the of God, what I will say to you is that all the best of the family. How many goods are they collected from this adjunct sister for this abomination they have done to their family? So, what I will say to Mary, Mary, take your leave. When you say take your leave, do you mean take your yes, leave from you, the marriage? You take, no, not on the marriage. Okay. For the, for the family, you know, forget about them. Mm. Work on your family. Work on that man. Mm. And see, when you are a senior son, I'm a senior son, all these things, what our parents do to us, that, oh, you are the senior, whatever they do to you, mm. it derails, it make you to think as if in short what would i say take your leave don't talk to anybody just work on your family and don't believe what they are telling you to go and call your sister your sister is dead already mm. let her go and she start creeping with your husband that's where your sister died so whose sister will you call don't have a sister mm. thank you okay then thank you ike Thank you, Ike. Uh, a lot of sound and noise in the background, but we were able to still get your opinion and your advice towards uh, Mary on this uh, issue that she found herself. So on, on WhatsApp, there are a lot of messages on WhatsApp. I might not be able to take um, some of your messages due to the constraint right now uh, in the studio. Sam Ehua says, um, Andrea, the young sister told a lie that she was playing along with the, the husband. She was intentionally intentionally doing it um okay she was intentionally doing it if she was playing along why didn't she say she discovered her uh, when the issue came into uh, the open their parents are not fair with the way they handle the issue they're pampering the junior sister for committing an abominable act they're all insulting her sensibility since the junior sister is not being remorseful and still threatening her she should disown her too <laughs> and tell her parents that uh, if they insist she reconciles with her junior sister uh, she will disown them too it is a complete insult from her family to her right uh okay zero seven hundred nine nine three nine nine three nine nine three uh, the female only line is 01465-7190. Okay, there are a few WhatsApp messages. I'm going to quickly take them now. Thank you very much. Uh, let me see. This one here is coming from Henry. Henry from Shomolu says, Good morning, Andrea. Mary needs to have a rethink on how she has made this become a battle in her own family between she and her sister instead of focusing on her husband who is a chit. My advice for her is that she should swallow the pride and make peace with her sister because I assure her that as she is busy fighting this, the man might be busy seeing another woman unless she's ready to fight for the rest of her life. It says, don't be trading death threat with your blood sister over a man that has betrayed you because if you die, your husband will continue with his concubines. A woman should please stop seeing uh, being married to a man as the ultimate achievement for being a woman. All right, this 
15 or last 15 minutes of uh, the show is sponsored by Hypo Toilet Cleaner. And then we need to take a message from them. We'll be right back. No matter where you live, no matter how we be. All right, welcome back. It's 0700-993-993-993. The female only line is 01465-7190. It's still the family uh, clinic with the techers. I am Andrea Oduobi Teke. We're still hearing from you. What do you think this woman should do? Uh, should she go ahead and uh, act like the bigger one? Be the bigger one. Call her sister. Uh, talk to the sister like nothing has happened, you know. Just, you know, sit down and have a hat-to-hat with her and say, you know, what's up? Why and how did this happen? Why did you do this to me? Do you think that would also be a good idea where that she sits with her younger sisters and ask her some certain questions? Like, what did you do? Why did you do this? Um, can you just explain to me why this happened? Did I wrong you in any way? Maybe that would also help her with closure. You know, maybe just maybe that would also help her with closure. But if you look at the whole situation and how her parents are pressuring her to still reach out to the younger sister and be the bigger one, it's more like you're telling me that um, and what she did isn't so great. What she did isn't so abominable. Uh, abominable. Just let go. Even if it hurts you, let go. You know how they say these things. Uh, do you agree with her parents? Should she just go ahead and uh, be the bigger one or let her sister be? Right? And remember, the sister hasn't really apologized to her for having, you know, let her go through this in her marriage. Hello? All right, you call me back if you can. Hello? Hello. Hi, good morning. What's your name? Good morning, Andrea. Finally, I get to call. I'm really wow. glad you did. <laughs> wow. Okay, so um, concerning this case, hmm, so first, you said no judge zone, right? No judgment. But the girl, the girl would have collected less, like Collins always say. <laughs> I'd have beaten. <laughs> The, the sister seems to be very, very gentle because for the lady to have the F1 tree to tell mm. her that if she comes to her function, then mm. she will die. Yeah. Like, what F1 tree? Yes. yes. In this Africa. And also, the way the, way the parents also handled the case was mm. somehow. Yeah. It's like the younger sister has even had something that the elder sister doesn't know about. Mm. She probably knows something because why would they say she should um, apologize to the... Um, to the younger sister. Mm. Andrea, are you there? I'm here with you. I'm here. Okay, okay. Go ahead. Like, why, why, why would you tell me to do that? Mm. Was I adopted? Is there something that I don't know about in the family? Yeah. I get you. I get you. It, really. It's really it's a serious right. issue. And also, I think the woman should just probably leave the marriage for now. Because mm. this is just a few cases that she has seen. There are several, in fact, just imagine, mm. there are several other ones that she's not aware of now. Mm. It's just because this is her sister. That's why she, she knows about it. Yeah. I believe that there are several other ones that she doesn't know about. about. So mm. she just leaves the family. Because, one, the man is useless. Mm. The younger sister is is not um, good as well. Thank you very much. I love your show. I love you too. Thank you. Calling. He would hear that. He would hear. Yeah. Thank you so much for calling. We have Doja also on the line. Hi, Doja. Tell Hello. Us. Hi, welcome. Yeah, good, good morning. Good. My name is Doja from Bagodo, a well, grandma. <gasps> welcome. I'm going to, to give have... a grandma's advice. Okay, then. Now, I'd love to hear that. Mary is already the bigger one mm-hmm. by forgiving not just her sister, but her husband. Right. Let her make her marriage good. Mm-hmm. Now, as for the younger sister, mm-hmm. she should just keep her at arm's length. Okay. I know it's a bit difficult. They're going to be meeting in family settings and all that. Mm-hmm. As much as possible, let her just keep her at arm's length. Mm-hmm. If the little sister now makes an overture, mm-hmm. she should be ready to accept her back. Mm-hmm. 
or that she has forgiven, that's okay. For her peace of mind and so that, that the root of bitterness will not start in her. Right. It's good that she's forgiven. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't have to have anything to do with her. With a sister. Until she's remorseful and ready to apologize. Okay. That, that, that makes sense. So that means the pressure coming from her parents to be the bigger one and call the sister. No, 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 not at all. She doesn't know that. All. Not in the least. Mm. Thank you so much, Grandma mm. Doja. I appreciate okay. that you called. <laughs> <laughs> 0700-993-993-993. Hello? Oh, hello. Hi. Hello. How are you? <laughs> I'm glad you what's called up, me. What's up, Lagos? Cheers, alive. <laughs> yeah, I, I I kind of have a kind of a different view. Okay, then. First of all, I see that man as a kid. Mm -hmm. If I were that lady, for my husband to have been sleeping with my younger sister for four years, mm -hmm. It shows that man is my enemy. Mm -hmm. It shows that man can kill me. It shows that man does not love me. So first of all, I will quit the marriage. Mm -hmm. The problem with ladies, like somebody said, maybe the man is rich. And that is why he's sticking to that marriage. Mm -hmm. I tell myself, there's no marriage in heaven. That's what I tell myself. Okay. So I will quit that marriage. I will first of all run for my enemy. Who could have killed me? Because somebody can, that kind of a man can use the wife for ritual. Hmm. I will quit the marriage. Then to my parents, who said I should go and beg. You know, first of all, that is what they, they normally tell the, the elder. Hmm. You know, you are the elder one, so hmm. you, you can continue to play like as a fool. Hmm. Then there's something that, like somebody said, there's something. Maybe I'm not their real child. Hmm. Because if I the real child, I would tell my mother, could you have taken that? Hmm. Could your husband be sleeping with your younger sister? What would be your own plight as regarding that? So... I will tell my parents, first of all, I will just quit it, quit everybody. So let me just go and get my senses back. Mm -hmm. Go and get my, my happiness back. Mm -hmm. So that man is a cheat. He doesn't want me. So I'm going to leave him. I'm going to quit him. So I think that woman should, first of all, be herself. She first of all, see the husband as a cheat okay. and try to separate herself from the husband, first of all. Hmm. Then the younger sister who said you are going to die after, the sister is even wrong. <laughs> There's no way you can be wrong and see this crazy cause. The cause is already on her. Yeah. She's already living under a cause. Yeah. The sister should just be praying for her not to die instead. Hmm. So that is my own view. So the husband is the primary problem. Okay. Then the parents to be corrected. All then right. the sister to be kept as, as arms That's my that. view. All right. right. Thank you so much. Hopefully Mary is listening and then she must have uh, got at one or two suggestions and heard a uh, few advice from you uh, as to how she should go about this um, this whole I mean I, I, I'm struggling not to call it a mess but it's more or less like a mess right now we'll be going on another break shortly and then we'll wrap this conversation up but I want to take this coming from Fred Fred says she should tell her husband to call the sister and must tell her he accepts all responsibility. Her husband has to make things right between the sister. He cannot break their union and now go underground. Tell her to warn her husband that he must do the right thing. Additionally, the husband should put the phone on speaker when apologizing to the sister and tell her he wants things right between her, at least the both of them. This is where she would know if her younger sister is truly remorseful or not. So, I mean, is this a good suggestion that uh, the husband should be the one to call the younger sister and own up to his mess? Because, I mean, I don't even think they have had that closure. The husband and the younger sister in front of the woman, in front of Mary. I'm not sure that they've had that closure. Maybe that also would be uh, one of the solutions to prick her younger sister in the chest and also prick the husband in the chest. Let's even face it, ourselves one after the other, eyeball to eyeball, and address what has gone wrong in our family. But I must say thank you to every one of you who reached out and, 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 and sent a, a message. You also called in to share your advice and your thoughts and how you think Mary should go about this. We do not take it for granted. We really do appreciate you. If you want to reach out to us, you can also send a DM. I am Andrea underscore Teke or Collins underscore Teke. Or you can reach out to us at the dot techers. And also follow us on social media right here on Nigeria Info. Uh, okay. I, I want to take this message before I wrap it up. Let me take this one message. This one here says, Hi, Andrea, what's up, Lagos? In this case, I totally agree with Mrs. Aigbe. That offense wasn't necessary, so I think it was deliberate and the sister doesn't deserve any forgiveness yet because she 
uh, she feels w what she did wasn't wrong. She should not listen to the advice of the parents for now. She should also recognize that uh, just like what Mrs. Saigbe said, God is saving her from her sister. All right, then I think this is where we will wrap it up at the moment. Thank you, Lagos, for always being, for always coming through. We really do appreciate that. I am Andrea Audubon. Check it. And right now, we'll call it a show. I'll we'll call it a wrap on the show. We close the curtains. The news will be coming up shortly. Join us again tomorrow. It's going to be a very fantastic, fun-filled edition of the Family Talk. And we must say thank you to Hypo Toilet Cleaner for sponsoring this last 15 minutes. We'll take a message from them, and I'll be saying my goodbyes. No matter where you do. Most turn on your choice for the best of sports. Manchester United 3, AFC Burma Oil. News and great conversations. Has never changed any 99.3 Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk.